The Insomniac Spider-Man leaks have gotten insane. You haven't seen insane yet. This is insane! I can't believe they leaked Green Goblin too. What did you do, Rag Nation? I'm back with Super News Bits to give you the latest superhero news in three minutes or less because I respect your time if you subscribe. So if this video was helpful, hit the like button so it reaches more people. But if it wasn't for you, change it to a dislike. So when the devastating cyber attack hit Insomniac last year, it caused not only the New Game Plus update to be delayed, but it also put a number of employees' lives at risk when their addresses and social security numbers were compromised as well. Now, it was expected we'd be seeing a bunch of content they've been working on once the stolen data was dropped online, and that's pretty much what happened. The entire Marvel's Wolverine cast list and story was leaked, plus gameplay and a playable pre-alpha build along with it. Insomniac's 10-year roadmap of games was also revealed, but after a while, things quieted down, and me and others assumed everything we're talking about had already been shown off by the leakers. But we were wrong, as these past two weeks have seen a fresh wave of reveals, and one of them didn't even come from hackers or leakers, but Insomniac themselves. The big Biggest news was of course the release of the trailer for the live service Spider-Man game, The Great Web, which we got confirmation of it being definitely canceled after the news story about the 900 layoffs at Sony broke. A second trailer for the canceled Spider-Man multiplayer game was also leaked and created a divide in the community with many being upset they wouldn't get to play this game while others were happy Insomniac didn't attempt to be the latest studio to try to make a live service superhero game work, which currently isn't going that well for Rocksteady. The idea of the game, at the very least, could have been a really cool DLC expansion similar to Ghost of Tsushima Iki Island, allowing for co-op and the ability to play with other spider characters in the open world like Gwen Stacy, Cindy Moon, who had her concept art leaked as well, and Venom, who was playable briefly during the main campaign. Speaking of DLC, Insomniac themselves accidentally spoiled their upcoming Spider-Man 2 DLC during the New Game Plus update by giving fans access to dev tools, which revealed plans for a story DLC based around the villain Beetle. Fans also were surprised this week when early concept art for Green Goblin, as part of a pitch for Spider-Man 3, was leaked as well, confirming what we pretty much all figured out by now, which is that the Insomniac Spider-Man series has been building up Norman Osborn to eventually become the Green Goblin in Marvel Spider-Man 3. Things have been really tough for Insomniac these past few months, especially after the fresh round of layoffs, but I think these leaks have also given the non-toxic players another reason to appreciate all their hard work and talent at being able to create so much amazing content while going through all these challenges. I'm excited for when Somnag has a chance to officially reveal some of this new work, which looks like it'll be happening soon at a new PlayStation event. I'll break that down in the next video on screen.